Hello everyone, once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. How is everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. I have yet another gaming computer sitting here. This is a Corsair case. This customer has been complaining about uh, crashes, blue screens, random blue screens. This is how this computer was brought in to me. And I'm going to take you guys along for the ride on troubleshooting this computer. And let's see if we can get to the bottom of what is going on with it. Uh, just to give you a little rundown here. This is an Intel motherboard. He's got an Intel processor. I don't know which one. I do see up top there that I see a 1200 LGA socket stamped on there. So it does have an LGA 1200 Intel processor of some sort. This is an EVGA RTX 3060 video card. I was able to identify that. He says there are two M.2s uh, in this computer. One is here and the other one most likely is underneath this video card. He's got one mechanical hard drive which is probably behind the shroud. Uh, obviously a water cool set up here and he's got some RAM in here that he said that he swapped out with some other RAM thinking that it might have been a memory issue. So he's done his own type of troubleshooting on this and he can't seem to get to the problem. Said so he's reinstalled Windows several times. Uh, he said he thought it was a certain game that he was uh, uh, loading, but it ended up not being that case that it's crashing at random, uh, doing just about anything. So what we're gonna do here is, first thing I'm gonna do is fire this thing up, go into the BIOS, check temperatures. Let's have a look at the temperatures on, the, on that processor. We'll identify the processor, identify the motherboard, and then we'll, uh, we'll proceed uh, from that point. So let me plug everything in, and let's get this guy booted up to the BIOS and see what it looks like. We can get into the BIOS here, and we'll look at temperatures real quick. This is a this is a Intel Core i7 10700K total memory 16 gigs of RAM at 3733 This is older RAM that he says temperatures look good sitting here for a while so I don't see any problems there doesn't look like he's overclocked So that'd be another issue that could be happening with the uh, blue screens and crashes but uh, let's go ahead and power down, boot into Windows, and um, see if we can get it to start crashing, or see if there's anything particular we can do to get it to start crashing. I'd imagine I'm gonna start like stress testing everything, run some really heavy stress tests and monitor stuff, see if we can start get it, see if we can get it to crash, see if we can pinpoint the issue. Okay, we've loaded up to Windows here. Uh, like I had mentioned, he said that he had uh, reinstalled Windows several times to try to correct his issue. Um, I think this here is the game he was talking about he thought might have been causing the issues, which is Elden Ring. Um, but he says uh, it does it on just about any other thing. Let me, give, let me get some network going here on this. I haven't got it plugged into my network yet. We'll do that. All right, here's my network. Uh-oh. Bam. Interesting. K-mode exception not handled. He said that there's several, several, several errors that it gets blue screening. So there's a blue screen. And, and that was strictly just by plugging in our network adapter. Okay, we rebooted again. So obviously he's having some crashing issues. The fans are really revving up on this computer. Let's go ahead and... Um, Get me some OCCT on here. OCCT is a great tool for troubleshooting, benchmarking, not really benchmarking, but stress testing your computer. Let's stress test this processor real quick. Okay, CPU. Temperatures are looking good. We're at 36. Let's go ahead and push that processor here real quick. Whoa, 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 stop. Temperatures jump straight to 93. Oh my gosh. Wow. Those temps jump straight to 93. That's not good. 
try that again. It went right up to 93. That's not good at all. 96. 95. 92. 99. No. 91. 96. That is way too hot. Shut that down. That is way too hot. Way, way, way too hot. Is this pump even running? You know, I don't... I don't hardly feel any circulation on this pump. Idle temps are looking a bit high. It looked good in the BIOS, but once I started to push... I mean, it's just 38C, 37, 52... Look at that, 88. 46, yeah. So, let me tell you. Let me show you something. When these water cool systems are working, you should be able to put your hand around the pump area or around the block and feel a, a vibration or a hum, sort of. I'm just wondering if this cooler is even working right. Let me investigate this. The lines of the pump feel a little warm, which I guess is a good sign. See, this is why I don't like these water cools. You can't tell if it's flowing or not. You just can't tell. Anyway, let me investigate this. I'll, sh I'll uh, come back with my findings here. Okay, so obviously uh, an issue jumps right out at me with that processor. What I'm going to do right now is I am going to actually remove this heat sink. And at the same time I do that, I'm going to remove that chip from that. I'm going to put it on my bench motherboard and I'm going to mount a high quality air cooler on it to see if I get the same temperature spike results there. If I do, that definitely confirms that there's an issue with that processor. I've seen them before with some of these newer Intel chips. And once I confirm that uh, it does it on another board with another cooler, like I said, I'm going to match it up to see if it's still covered under any type of warranty through Intel. Since this is the first issue that's jumping out at me, I got to target that first. Most likely, it is the problem, but we have to start somewhere, right? So let me um, let me start this process here, and we'll see what the results are. There is a back plate on the back side of this, so I'm sure that'll probably fall off here. That's okay. Yes, Kit Kat. Yes. Can I help you? Can I help you? I guess I got somebody helping me out today, huh? Hey. You need to help me get this CPU cooler off. Yes, you do. You got to help me get this CPU cooler off. Silly. You gonna help me or you just gonna lay there? Oh, oh, what are you doing? You gonna bite me? Uh, uh, listen, I got work to do. You're distracting me. Ow! You're distracting me. Yes, you are. You're distracting me. Oh! Eh, don't bite me! Eh, it's not stuck to it. There is your water block and you know looks like it was making good contact with that processor so now we're just going to clean that off and we'll get the number off of it all right I'll record that number record this number check it out on Intel and then we're going to pull that chip test it on our test bench okay everyone I have taken that uh, 10700k that looked like was overheating there or malfunctioning from that motherboard, I put it in my own test motherboard here. I've used a quality air cooler so I can be sure it gets proper cooling. And just a test car. I'm not worried about video or anything else. Uh, just a naked install of Windows 10. I uh, don't have to activate it, don't have to update it. All I want to do is test the CPU temps here. So I'm using OCCT. Let's see what our results are. Open up OCCT here. Okay, go to System Info. 
And we see here it sees our Core i7 10700K. Let's go to test. So you can see a Core 0 there is at 31. CPU package is at 39. That's all normal. It was similar to that when it was installed in the original case. But let's go ahead and stress it. All right, we're going to stress it now. And usually we get jammed up to 100C right away. We jumped up to 49 here. Run down 100% load. And we're only getting up to 55. Interesting. Yep, at 100%. We're only going up to 52, 57C, 60C on the package. So, that processor appears to be okay. Look where this will lead you. On, his, on the original motherboard, remember, as soon as I stressed it, it jumped right up to 100, which now tells me a couple of things. One, that heat sink that water cooler that's in his system is not functioning properly or is, was it sitting down properly on that processor or perhaps it's a, it's a motherboard issue we must investigate further I'm going to say the processor is okay that's why we test that's why we test <clears throat> okay I've got the processor back in the original motherboard I don't know if you can see but there's the pump right there. It's mounted on the radiator itself. And uh, this water block here. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, with water coolers, you could, you could kind of shake them like that. And you'll like hear water shaking around in it. I don't hear anything. So this could very well simply be the case of a water cool system here that's dried up. The BIOS showed pump RPMs, but if there's no water to, to flow, you know, that wouldn't matter. And perhaps the pump is broken on it, but still registering RPMs, if that makes sense. I don't know. Here's what I'm going to do next. Since we know our processor is most likely okay, going to uh, remove this water cool system here. And I'm going to mount that be quiet cooler on this and see what the results are after that. So I will tell you, after shaking this around, honestly, I really don't hear much water in there at all. I mean, I'm, I can't tell. I really can't tell. It's very well may be empty. Could be empty. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, other cooler installed here, and uh, let's see if that solves the problem. It'd be nice if it does. Okay, here we go. I've got it swapped out for the Be Quiet cooler. Same one that we used on our test motherboard that kept our processor nice and cool. So now we're going to go ahead and power this up and see what the results are. Okay, got everything plugged up here, ready to roll. Let's go ahead and fire this guy up. Where's that power button? Yep, fans are spinning. That's good. Okay, we have BIOS here. 29C, 28C is the CPU temperature. Let's just go ahead and let this thing boot into... Uh, Boot in the windows again. Hit it. 100% CPU. 65C, 70C, that's a bit high. 72, 74, 68, 70. You know what? That is a heck of a lot better. A heck of a lot better. It was already in the hundreds. So, there we go. 
it was definitely his cooler. Yep, 70C, 75C. That's at 100% load. That's not bad. He'll never push it that much on a game. So, the reason why I went down the road of taking the CPU out and mounting it on my test motherboard with another cooler is because that's less work than me having to strip out his whole water cool system and put that into test. So either way, we got down to the issue with it. We found out what the issue was and uh, pretty sure here, I'm gonna keep stress testing this thing, but I just figured I would take you guys along for the ride. If you guys ever have any temperature issues with your processor, or you start having blue screens or freezes or anything like that, check your temperatures. And if your temperatures are an issue, have a way to check your thermals, have a way to check your cooling system, or have a way to check your processor in a separate machine. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.